So we've got our competitors here from the outside of the start line there, make their way right onto the inside into the front of the pack to get a good position. A tough track to run if you're boxed in on the inside. You don't want to be in that position for too long. So we've got our... So we've got our Sandringham, Sandringham athlete from Alice Oakley Kerr here taking the early lead. And Ruby Crisp from Ringwood Athletics Club right there up on her shoulder, rounding out the top two. And Knox athlete there as well up on the outside, Victoria. As you do see on screen here, it is getting quite dark as they get around that back bend there. I just need to a get the old uh, head touch out next time you're running some of the later races here at Melbourne Uni. A few heels would be kicked, I'd imagine, running around those bends. But it's still our competitor from Sandringham in Alice Oakley Kerr with the lead. A bunched up pack again, so not the fastest race, or at least the athletes seem to be able to hold on. Charlotte Drake halfway through the field, also racing a second for the night, running the 800 earlier as well, so. So 124 through 400, so on pace for a 5.36, one mile. Alice Oakley Kerr from Sandringham. Stephanie Thomas from Western Athletics up on her shoulder. So it does look like Victoria as well from Knox Athletics Club, who's been sitting right there on the shoulder, has decided that the pace is a little bit too slow and she's going to take it on here. We'll see if our Sandringham athlete, Oakley Kerr, Let's it go past or tries to hold her to the outside. So he's Victoria Scalsonis Lock, the athlete from Knox, if you're a bit nervous about that last name. Like, you know our <laughs> secrets in not pronouncing <laughs> the surname. Just it's first name basis if that's all you can pronounce. But it's Scaltonis there on the outside. See now I can pronounce it just because you've said it. That's him. Melissa Vanderwater as well from Collingwood. In the mix, up in third position. But Alice. Is it Alice Oakley Kerr there? Correct. Yeah, Alice Oakley Kerr. She's run a strong race. It's very uh, gutsy. Leading out from the start and trying to hold that lead. It doesn't always work out. You probably much prefer to sit one back, one deep, if yeah. possible. But, yeah, all credit to her. Now, Skeltonis has run a few laps now on the outside. So she's running a little bit further. An extra three and a half metres per bend, so seven metres per lap there. An extra, if my maths is correct once again, 28 metres. If you run the whole mile in lane two, so an extra 28 metres, that's an extra three or four, five seconds she's given away. I'm furious at that. Get on the rails, girl. Infamous comment from Tim Crosby. I think it was back in the first Milers Cup meet as well. Not very happy with a few of the athletes running out there on the outside. But Skeltonis, if you can do it, why not? Maybe she does enjoy having the open space in front of her. Rails! Get on the rails! As we come up to one <laughs> lap to go. About 4.10 through 1,200 metres. If I can look down my sheet, we're on about 5.35 pace. But it's our Sandringham athlete that has led the entire race here in Oakley Kerr. As Scalsonis makes her way on the rails. So lane one tucked in there. Hopefully she's a bit more comfortable now, not running the extra distance and has a bit of a kick to go. But Alice Oakley Kerr does seem to be too strong. Amazingly has led almost from the gun. Seems to know what she's doing. Although very young in age. Is a regular name at these Miles Club events. So it's Melissa Vanderwater as well there from the Collingwood Athletics or Collingwood Harriers Athletic Club there in second place. We'll see if she can hold on to Oakley Kerr. 
But Oakley Kerr has done all the work here in this race as she comes into un 100 metres to go. Melissa there on the outside. She's not going to let her do this race easy. We'll see if she can come all the way down. Oakley Kerr maintains her first position. Vanderwater from Collingwood Harriers there in second place isn't going to get her. So it's Oakley Kerr from Sandringham that's going to go all the way through. 5.27 high unofficial time there. See it, Charlotte Drake, very strong run. The athlete from Williamstown coming in third position. So strong run up that final front straight. Also running 800 earlier tonight.